In this clip, Uncle Bob speaks on the problem with the two comets and how to keep them from getting out of control. When I wrote this slide, probably six years ago, I thought to-do comments were a really good idea. Now, to-do comments were brand new in IntelliJ about six or seven years ago. And I thought, it's so cool that you can put this to-do in there, and then you can push a little button on the IDE and get a whole list of all your to-do comments. That's just so cool. And now I realize that the word to-do means don't do. I finally understand that. And so now I see code, code that is just loaded with to-do comments everywhere. Nobody ever does them. And so nowadays I have a different rule for to-do comments. I will use to-do comments. I will put them in, but I will not check them in. To-do comments must either be done or deleted before I will check the code in. Because once you check it in, it turns into a don't do. So that's my new rule for to-do comments. And that's a fair point. Psychologically, programmers tend to push anything non-critical, like refactoring or cleanups down the priority list. To do comments especially prone to this because they quietly blend into the code, often never to be seen again. But there's a flaw in Uncle Bob's solution. It assumes the developer is always on the best behavior, and let's be honest, when deadlines are looming, remembering not to check in a to do is probably the last thing in your mind. So what's a better approach? Instead of relying on discipline, externalize the to do's. Make them a part of the workflow, and here are two ways. 1. Create a ticket for the to-do. Making it in a real task gives it weight. It becomes that rock in your shoe that's so annoying that you'll eventually be forced to deal with it. 2. Automate to-do hygiene. Just like how CI can block merges based on test coverage, you can configure to-dos to alert the team when the number of to-dos crosses the threshold, or even prevent merges if certain kinds of to-dos are present. This creates social accountability and keeps technical debt visible. In short, if you treat to-dos like real work because they are, We'll have a better chance of actually doing them. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.